Hey guys, how's it going? Marcelo here, and holy crap, I got some news to share with you guys. I, I'm actually first going to give uh, credit to Jeremiah Isaiah, who covered this topic first, and he's who I heard it from in his own video, which I'll link down below in the description, if you want to check out what he says about it. Oh my god, so, a long time ago, <laughs> all, this, all the good ones start off that way, here is my Game Boy Advance SP from when I was 8 years old, when I first got it on my birthday. Here is Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. They're talking about porting this to the Virtual Console. That would be awesome. I would actually be okay with that. Um, I've never really talked about the Game Boy Crash games before, and honestly it's because they're kind of just rip-offs of 2 and 3. Crash 2 and 3 on the PS1. Um, I wouldn't really say rip-offs, but they follow the formula, and there's nothing much new to uh, The Huge Adventure and Tranced. They uh, follow, the level design is pretty much taken right from Crash 2 and 3 with the themes and all that, straight from the sewers, to the jungle, to the music they use in those levels and all that, so it's really similar. All we would have to really, all I have to really say about that in general is, it's Crash 2 or 3 or like a clever blend of both on handheld, and that's pretty cool. So, now they're saying... Oh, you know, there's rumors and this leaked video that Jeremiah Isaiah covers and shows where um, it's like, okay, so Nintendo of Japan has shown off this video of the huge adventure being played on the Wii U, on the gamepad, and on the TV. You could switch between them. And for it to be on virtual console is actually kind of cool because I'm pretty sure, even though now I'm not actually sure of the order in which these two games came out, but Wrath of Cortex is the very first Crash game to go multi-platform. And Huge Adventure is the first one to be exclusive to a Nintendo console. Whichever order one of the other, whichever of those two came out first, off the top of my head, I don't know the dates right now. But, um, yeah, so those two games were, that was around the time that Crash started to appear on Nintendo consoles. And Crash, as a sort of mascot. I mean, he was surely, I guess, the mascot of Naughty Dog at the time, but he was up there with Mario and Sonic, like, competing to be, like, big mascots. You know, he was up there with them, and that's really cool. So, the fact that if this does happen, the fact that if this happens, it can resonate out and lead to bigger things. Um, so, with them bringing in the huge adventure back to virtual console would make Crash relevant again on Nintendo platforms, and it could pros it could possibly lead since Activision does Skylanders primarily on Nintendo consoles, and of course the Skylanders series has gone multi-platform. Um, but people tend to get it on like Wii, Wii U, you know, whatever. But because it's Activision, because you know Activision and Nintendo have this kind of a partnership. That could lead to, uh, to Activision bringing Crash back in some way. This could open up that door again. Um, I would still kind of, in my personal way of thinking, in my opinion, prefer Sony buy Crash back and we see a revival on the PS4. But if he comes back in this way, I'm not really against it. But I am going to be like keeping a close eye on how these kinds of things progress. So, not only that though, with uh, The Huge Adventure, but I've also heard, and you can hear that in the video down below, um, there's possibly some Crash Bandicoot related Smash Bros stuff, possibly on the horizon? I have no clue what that will entail. They said that September 30th will be when something might go down. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't really think that Crash, Crash doesn't belong in the Smash Bros. world to me. That's just my opinion. Because he's known mostly for being on Sony platform, on the PlayStation, or, you know, in these smaller Nintendo games, like, you know, the Game Boy games. And, I mean, arguably, I mean, because Rayman started off the same way, and before you think that's a huge leap, I mean, like, Rayman is relevant today because of Origins and Legends, and those games were primarily played on the Wii and the Wii U. Um, Legends was supposed to be a, a Wii U exclusive until Sony and Microsoft wanted to 
get their hands on that game as well. So it went multi-platform and it was delayed so it can go multi-platform. The point being is that I would say that Rayman and even Shantae would have, um, just as two examples, would have a bigger chance of getting into Smash Bros. before Crash did. Because Shantae's been on Nintendo since the Game Boy Color. And she's still relevant today with Pirate's Curse and with Half Genie Hero on the way. Rayman's relevant because of Origins and Legends. But maybe this could, I mean, this could certainly be the door opening scenario for Crash on Nintendo platforms. If the Huge Adventure does get ported to a um, virtual console, because, like I said before, that was Crash's first solely, you know, exclusive Nintendo game, and the fact that that's when they chose to bring the virtual console, it makes sense, and if this did get Crash to become relevant again, then it would, I guess, make some sort of sense if he appeared in some fashion in Smash Bros, like, be it as just a trophy like Rayman, or as a character, I mean, maybe, but I don't really, I wouldn't really be for that, because, hell, he didn't even appear in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. So, I don't know if he's going to be that quick to hop into Smash Bros. I don't really know what to make of that half of the news that I'm covering today. But in terms of bringing back this title on Virtual Console, I'm for that. And I actually think that that video does as well as Jeremiah Isaiah had said. I also do believe that that holds some kind of like realism to it. Like I think that if this is a real video and it's not just like you know, some artsy omni ass kind of like, th this person put a lot of time and effort into this video, and it's fake. I think it's real. I think that it would be cool to see an older Crash game come back in this form. Of course, if they do anything next year for his 20th anniversary, that's not a new game or something, I could easily see the first three games coming back in like an HD re-release pack. And I myself, for one, I don't know if I've ever said this on camera before, be it on Trash Talk or somewhere else, I don't really, I guess you would say, believe in <laughs> HD re-releases. What I mean by that is, I don't care for them, necessarily. They do a lot of good. You got Final Fantasy VII Remake, you got all the dozens of remakes from Kingdom Hearts, I think, I believe that they've got some remakes out there. Um, you've got... The Last of Us Remastered, which is all great and grand, but I like to stick to the original format on the original console. That's just my preference as a gamer. So, but because it's Crash, and because it's something that I grew up with, there might be some reason for me to invest in an HD re-release, but I don't know. Like, I, I go back and forth with the fact that it's Crash. I know that it's a little biased on my part to give Crash some, you know, more leniency, but I mean, again, I'm going back and forth on that particular subject alone. Like, if they did an HD release, would I get it? Well, if it's celebrating the 20th, and you know, it's my very first game ever, you know, it's my favorite franchise of all time, I probably would get it. But, um, going off topic here, <laughs> the fact that they're gonna bring, I, like I just showed you, I have the game, you know, so. This is the original format, this is how it is, so I've, I'm good with this. Would I get this on Virtual Console? If it's for that kind of a celebration, like his 19th or his 20th, then possibly. Just because it's Crash and because it's cool <laughs> with, to me. So, I don't know. But not only is it just because, oh hey, we're bringing back an older Crash game on the Virtual Console. I mean, again, that can lead to like bigger opportunities to jumpstart the series again. And if they jumpstart the series again, that's a whole other conversation in and of itself. I'll make another video on that. Possibly today, maybe at a later time. But until then, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think that this is real, this info? What are your thoughts on Crash for Smash, as I've been hearing everyone call it? So, yeah. I didn't know this, but Crash for Smash actually has a lot of hype behind it. There's, a, there's an audience for Crash for Smash, so that's actually really uh, it's really weird. But, I don't know, what do you think about Crash for Smash? What do you think about um, uh, the huge adventure being on Virtual Console? I, for one, am all for the Virtual Console.
Crash for Smash, I'll talk about in the other video. So, I'm Marcelo. See you guys later. Take care.